Nintendo fans, there's going to be a Super Mario Wonder Direct on Thursday. And I'm excited. I'm a massive Super Mario fan. Yes, I love handheld gaming PCs. Yes, I love playing Nintendo games on handheld gaming PCs. But I've got to hand it to the Switch. Their exclusives are just... Mwah. And one game that really hits me in the heart is Super Mario because Super Mario Land, Super Mario Land 2 on the Game Boy, the original, the OG Mario games that I remember. I never had an NES or an SNES. Super Mario Land was where it was at for me and it's a timeless classic. And you, know, you can now play Super Mario Land on your Switch, by the way, with Nintendo Switch Online with their uh, Game Boy games, which is fantastic. Give it a try, please, for the love of everything, give Super Mario Land a try. Super Mario Land 2, they need to bring the first one too. I play, I put so much time into that and I actually beat Super Mario Land 1 just a couple of months ago actually, I think during summer, um, on my Mario Mini. So, love the game so much. And the new one looks fantastic as well and um, I can't wait to play it. Anyways, let's get into it. I'm Blaze 2K, we cover gaming, handheld gaming, technology every other day on this channel and I'd really appreciate if you joined the family by clicking that subscribe button and clicking the bell icon to be notified. And if you like this video and if you're excited for Super Mario and this new Direct, click the like as well let's get into it will we see switch 2 switch 2 pro during this direct it's yet to be seen let's talk about it before we talk about it though check out my list of favorite nintendo switch accessories now i'm building this list as time goes on okay guys because i'm i do believe it or not play my nintendo switch from time to time and i am very interested and excited to share with you some of my favorite accessories for the switch and i've got a list here an amazon list of my favorite accessories and this is a list i'm literally in the middle of building out so check it up today check it on a regular basis click the follow button click the heart button if you want to and maybe save it bookmark it share with friends and check on it on a regular basis because i'm going to be adding everything that i like on the switch including this cool eye carrying case which is amazing value this sd card as well as a lot more thumbstick covers and one thing that i really love and really recommend it are the skull and co grip hard gel grips because these things i've got one of these on my switch um had one of these on my original switch and i need to get another one for my new switch oled but this thing is amazing as well as screen protectors and all that good stuff and like i says over the next couple of days i'm going to be adding a lot more cool things to this so keep an eye on it anyways let's get into the news so um, Super Mario Direct is going to be happening on Thursday morning, um, and it's all it's going to be all about Super Mario Wonder. But I'm wondering, and I'm hoping and praying that we maybe see a little hint at what might be coming as far as Switch hardware is concerned, um, or new a new Nintendo Switch platform potentially. More news on that soon. There's a rumor that there's a new hardware, there's new the new console coming, and it's not called the Switch check my new video after this on it on it right because i'm going to be talking about it but anyways new nintendo directs happening now that charles martinet sadly is stepping down as the voice of mario you might have seen this guy around it's an old chap he's been voicing mario since the beginning um not all the way in the beginning not super mario land in the beginning but since super mario 64 i think possibly yeah, Super Mario 64. Um, he's been doing the voice for it. What an absolute legend. He goes to all all the conventions, all the gaming conventions, tech convention, movie com conventions, Comic Con, etc. And he's he loves meeting fans, loves doing the voice, loves going, it's a me, Mario! That sort of stuff, you know, I, I can't believe I just said it. But anyways, Charles Martinet, absolute legend, and he's stepping back from being Mario. And I'm, I'm kind of disappointed they never put him in the Super Mario movie because... He's got so, he's, he is the voice of Mario. I'm so sad they went with Chris Pratt in the movie as the voice of Mario. But they did they did let Charles Martinet play the voice of Giuseppe, which was that Italian guy that was in some of the scenes. You might you might have seen him. He's an Easter egg in the film. Um, but he did play a guy that looks kind of like Mario in the film, which I thought was amazing. I'm so glad they included him. But anyways, yeah, the Super... Super Mario, um, the new game, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, is going to be announced at this new Direct. Or not announced, but like shown off a little bit more. It's going to be a 15 minute preview event Thursday morning. And we're going to see his new voice. Um, because he's not going to be voiced by Charles Marnet. <laughs> I'm going to cry. I've got a tear running down my eye right now. So Nintendo's offering a new in-depth look at Super Mario's Wonder with a direct showcase slate for this Thursday, August 31st at 10 a.m. Uh, presentation comes a few weeks after Nintendo announced that Charles Martinet, the iconic voice of Mario, was taking a step back from the role to become Nintendo's Mario ambassador. Now, I think we're going to see Charles Martinet in this um, 
Nintendo Direct, it was um, announced that he was going to be doing uh, a video with... Um, sorry, I had to take a break there. But um, Nintendo did say the game's coming out on October 20th, so that's just next month, or almost next month, because we're almost into September. And in an email to Polygon, Nintendo confirmed that Martinet is not voicing Mario in, Wonder, in the Wonder Ring. While Charles is not involved in the game, we're excited to honour his legacy and contributions, including looking ahead to what he'll be doing as a Mario ambassador. So he's going to be an, an ambassador. Um, now, they're saying he's going to be creating a special video message um, with Shigeru Miyamoto. So I'm hoping we're going to see that at the Nintendo Direct. Keep an eye open for that. It's going to be kind of sad, but kind of exciting as well. I'm kind of surprised because a couple of years ago, back in 2021, Charles Martinet said, I want to voice Mario until I drop dead. He loves this character. He embodies Mario in the best sense possible, right? He goes around the world, every convention. Basically, he is Mario, and he looks a little bit like Mario too. Just my opinion, let me know if you disagree. But yeah, it's kind of sad. So I'm hoping there's nothing wrong with him. Hopefully his health is okay, because he, he loves being Mario. Um, so back to the news. So Wonder was obviously announced back in June. Um, it's the first new Mario platformer since the release of Super Mario 3D World, which I loved, and Bowser's Fury back in 2021. And despite Wonder being the year only Mario game, the year's only Mario game release, the Mario franchise has had a fantastic year with the financial success of the Super Mario Bros. movie. I cannot understate or overstate how amazing the Super Mario Bros. movie was. If I saw that when I was a kid growing up playing Super Mario Land on the Game Boy, I would have just... My mind would have been blown. Because that movie embodies everything about Mario and the Mario universe. And I almost had a tear Mario when I was watching it because it brought me back to my childhood and it was like... It made me want to play Mario right afterwards. Um, I don't have as much patience for Mario, Super Mario these days, Super Mario Brothers, but... I played it right after the film and the game and the film they did such a good job. They brought in um, Miyamoto, I believe, and they brought in a lot of the Nintendo people that work on Mario and used a lot of the assets from the games and really did a true representation of Mario on the big screen. And it was just, it was just fantastic, guys. If you haven't seen it, you've really done yourself a disservice. Go freaking watch it, all right? Watch the film. Um, it's so good. Um, it's grossed over a billion dollars worldwide and might win a Grammy for Jack Black's now iconic performance of Peaches. I, they brought in Chris Pratt, obviously, who does um, the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. He obviously plays Star Lord. Sorry, I had a bit of brain fog there. Uh, Star Lord and Gar Guardians of the Galaxy has been in a bunch of other films as well lately, and he's obviously in Jurassic Park. So I love Chris Pratt. I was just sad they didn't use Charles Martinet as Mario, but that's okay. I like Chris Pratt. And obviously, one of my favorite actors of all time, Jack Black. Um, and he did a great, great job um, of Bowser. Wait, why Why is the very same Jack Black the no iconic performance of Peaches? No! He was Bowser! What are you talking about? <laughs> Didn't play Peach? This is Peach. Um, so here's the tweet. Join us for an in-depth look at Mario's latest 2D side-scrolling adventure in the livestream Super Mario Bros. Wonder Direct. Now, I am picking this up. Like I said, I've got a long history of playing Mario games. Super Mario Land and Mario Land 2 were one of my two of my favorite games on the Game Boy back in the day. And obviously every game, every side-scrolling game after that has obviously been just amazing to me. And um, I'm still working through Super Mario Land 3D with Bowser Bowser's Fury. Um, is that what it's called? Hold on. Super Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury. I'm confusing it for Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. I also love that game. That's a side-scroller where Super Mario 3D World, Bowser's Fury is more of a Nintendo, you know, more of a 3D, different perspective sort of game. Um, I love them all. I love them all. Anyways, um, so, as we discussed, obviously Nintendo's promised a special message from Martinet and CEO Shigeru Miyamoto uh, will be forthcoming in this direct. It seems... It will feature that message along with possibly revealing who's taking over as the new voice of the most prolific plumber in video games. I don't think it's going to be um, Chris Pratt, sadly. Um, I think if Chris Pratt was to voice it, there wouldn't be a Mario Bros game because he probably asks for a lot of money. He's more of the Hollywood type that would want like a hundred million dollars, which is probably the entire value of the sales of this game when it does finally release um, but yeah it's gonna be 15 minutes um, and I'm super excited for it let's take a look at the trailer again and see what's so great about it oh wait no that's the upcoming live stream I'll put a link to that in the video description so here it is if you haven't seen it yet classic side-scrolling platform 
style. It's got its own unique style, this one, though. That's kind of different. I feel like the animations, the interactions between the Goombas and everything like that are just a little bit different. Um, it's almost a new take on the side-scrolling platformer that is Super Mario. Um, a lot of new things. I feel like they've, they've taken an inspiration from some of the Kirby games, where I feel like he does more... There's more mechanics to it, and there's more different ways to move around and interact with things than we typically see in one of the newer side-scrolling things. And I think they take a lot of inspiration from that, from like the film, um, and obviously there are other Nintendo IPs that have experimented with side-scrolling um, games. These things really define Nintendo for me, these sorts of games, you know, that are fun, that are great for jumping into, jumping out of. If you have like a spare 15 minutes on the train, um, obviously jump in, have some fun. Um, these games are great for look at that the pipes like moving around this is fantastic uh, let's scroll through a little bit more super mario bros wonder of course bowser is back princess peach and her sister whoever that is um lots of fun lots of fun and of course you jump on that little pole at the end of every level and it looks like s4 player go up to it so super cool super mario bros wonder coming in october cannot wait so let me know what you think in the comments is this a game that you're picking up are you going to be playing this let me know and obviously leave a comment click the like subscribe click the bell icon if you love gaming as much as i do and um it's such a fun time to be a gamer these days guys so many new consoles coming out um this is not nintendo related but i just want to share it nonetheless the lenovo legion the lenovo legion go is coming out a new handheld gaming pc absolutely insanely excited for this thing as well as the gpd win mini which is like a little clamshell gaming pc with all the controls you'd want and a keyboard and an sd edge display and it's a clamshell which reminds me of the 3ds which i love nintendo needs to go back to clamshell consoles that were so pocketable and cool um when the hinge wasn't broken that is um, and obviously, hopefully we see that new Nintendo Switch hardware very soon. Go watch one of my previous videos where I covered a render of the new Nintendo Switch device. Um, but I've got a feeling it's going to be called something different. And we're going to cover that in the following video. So please subscribe, click the bell icon to be notified of when that video comes. Because I think it's going to come today or tomorrow. Stay tuned. Follow me on x.com. Um, and yeah, like I said, check out my list of favorite Nintendo accessories over here. Link in the description and top pinned comment of this video. Have a wonderful freaking day, guys. I love you and I appreciate you. And like I said, come join the Blaze family if you want to be in the know about all the new handheld and tech news. Anyways, have a great day. I love you. Bye.